What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn, and this is the Gear Channel, where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, competitive games, from tabletop to video games. And today's episode, we're doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Store Buyout Opening Part 4. Now sadly, this is actually the final episode that we're going to be doing, because all the footage of Antonian Code has been deleted, and it was 8 boxes that we were opening. So, before we get into the Shadow of Valhalla, we're going to show you all the pulls that we got. So right away, we're going to start with the Eternity Code cards that we actually pulled. And I do apologize again that I don't have the video anymore. So this is what we pulled. So first off, six missed cuts, surprisingly, okay? And yes, when I mean that we opened a lot of boxes, I mean there was at least six sealed one and then two open and then packs a bunch of uh blister packs so we actually pulled miscuts so let's just uh if you can see you can barely even see the bottom there you go you can barely see the bottom and that's how it is for all six of them so we have the gizmak you have girsu we have the crocodile, <laughs> the ghost, deep sea area, and titano cider. And then we have a slight uh, foil bleed in this one. So not too severe, but still. And French on top of that. So now let's go to the main stuff, okay? So in total, we got three of these. Okay, one access code talker, another ghost, another Gyusu, another Gizmak, the plunder, the deep sea, a grave digger. And now let's get into the ultras. So we got five of the dragon maid. Another five of what are these guys called? Generator bosses. Three metal crunches. Three divas. Two. Two. Another two. Another two. Another two. And then the ones, the trap trick, link ross, fusion. Deployment and the last one, one Arc Nemesis. Okay, now that was it for the Antonian Code. Now we're going to see if we can actually do this very fast. So, with the boxes, okay, so this is where I pulled to test the packs, the loose packs, just to make sure that they were all real and everything. So, we're going to continue with those, okay? So, let's just move these to the side. Oh, right away we got our ash. Okay, perfect. And okay, well, uh, I want to just uh, put the secrets on the side, but the ash I am definitely going to sleeve, and also the invoke macabre, because those are actually going up in price. Okay, very nice. Rare Ray Ash. Let's see if we could see, pull a playset. Or even Invocation, that would be nice. Oh, nice, Meltdown. And Gateway of Chaos, okay. So, definitely sleeving the Meltdown. Because all the Invoke stuff are going up with the Dragma. And if you saw with our Rise of the Duelist opening, we actually pulled a few good ones, so. And the only thing we were pretty much missing was the spell. And also the ultra, the main girl. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see if we Oh, these are all warped. Oh, look at these bends. Okay, hopefully we don't get too many entities. Okay. Oh, very nice window. That I actually really like. I don't remember if I pulled it last time. Hmm. I remember I pulled the uh, Shadow Fusion. Not too sure about the window. Right, let's see. We're looking for more ashes. Ooh, Winter Witch. Okay, that's always good to pull. Uh, if you guys see me pass something extremely good, like misplants or something, uh, comment it down below. Because sometimes I just miss these things, but also I have such a big pile of cards, so I don't really have too much time trying to look for all small details. Oh, Shadow Fusion. Okay. expensive one been going up in price lately I think the last time I bought this box I pulled only one ash so I'm starting to think oh another one I'm starting to think ash is uh, probably one per box I won't be surprised if you go back then it was Decently pricey and short print too, so. Oh, but we're definitely pulling all the shuttles. Oof, too bad it's banned. And I don't think it's going ever come back. It was almost like a newer version of a Shockmaster. Just a tiny bit harder to get out, but still. Ooh, very nice. Nice Alistair. Ooh, so same box, one invocation, one Alistair. That is pretty good. That is actually a good box. Let's see. Ooh. Soon you're going to see use again. Soon. Chaos, which I'm not even sure if it's even used uh, for the new Gaia deck. I don't think so. Could be wrong. And Twin Twister, always a good card to pull. 
yeah, last uh, box was I pulled three in one box, so that was uh, the highlight. Okay, let's go to the second box. the back we pulled an Alistair. Okay. Very nice. Ooh. Okay. Oof. I always forget never to skip out on super rares. Because there's a lot of expensive super rares. Well, mostly two, but still. Ooh, nice. Okay. So the old fusion secret. And invoke Makaba. And nothing good in that one. Come on, invocation. An ash. Okay, twin. Please don't give me in a playset in one box. Maybe one more just to complete it, but not more than that. I can stick with just three. Okay, two good fusions. And yes, I want to always sleeve the Makawas and the Windows. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, so we got a second invocation. Oof. I'm getting tired of seeing that gateway of chaos. It's not good. <sighs> wow, as soon as I say I'm tired of seeing it, it pops up. Okay. Can we get a place of ashes? Ooh. Come on. Well, we're actually pulling a lot of windows, so more than I would like. Okay, now that is ridiculous. We're pulling way too many windows. And that is not good. Okay, so we have our three twin twisters now. And hopefully we could just stick to three and not more, not more windows. Not more gateway to chaos. Just more expensive stuff. <sighs> well, why do I keep calling it? Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see. Valkyrie. 
see if we can pull a Valkyrie. Oh, Ash. Okay. Better. <laughs> so we have a second Ash now. Let's see if we can get a third. Come on, Ash. Ooh. I know that had a little bit of value. One day, you're gonna go up, bro. One day. Oh, another one. Oof. A gem night. We don't even see those anymore. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oof, bad. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, very nice. We pulled the second one. Okay. And last one, let's see what we could pull. Oof, John Knight. Okay, let's see. Let's just move this out of the way. Okay. Come on, hard the cards. Let's get that. Third Alistair, third Invocation, and third Ash. That's all what we need. And no more of this. That would be very appreciated. I might have a whole binder of shut all windows. And I won't be happy. Oh, and Jump Knight. Ugh. Thank God I have so many sleeves. Nice, okay. Perfect. Oof. So we have our third Ash, which I'm actually very happy with. So now we want the third invocation. Unless if I miss one. There's the third one. And now we just need the third Alistair. There will be all set. Come on, show me that Alistair. Oof. That was no good. Mm. 
Okay, twin. Very nice. Nice. Perfect. We could pull some extra ones. That would be great too. Where else are we missing? Uh, definitely not windows, but hey, at least I might have a binder full. Vocation. I would like more. Oof. And more ashes. Yep. So more invocations and more ashes. Oh, I should have fusion. Too good, guys. Oh, nice. And can we get some extra invocations with it? It would be much appreciated. Not in this one, maybe in this one. I just realized that Valkyrie is actually pretty hard to pull. Especially if you keep pulling windows in your box. Expensive Valkyrie, so okay. A few more packs left, and then I'll do a recap of what we pulled. Ah, two ninjas are dead. Secret rare synchro monster besides the old entity. Come on, evocation. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, we need invocation, ash, and the Valkyrie. Let's get all of those. Okay. No. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not so bad. And that's it for our opening of Shadow in Valhalla. Now, I do apologize again for not showing the Eternity Code opening, but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and subscribe. And if you want to see different boxes being opened on this channel, comment them down below. And if you want to take a look into other products that we're going to be opening, follow me on my Instagram. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.